around the world or countries around the world. So, the country te teacher, uh, okay, just go on, she can just cut it up. The country teacher chose is China. So, China's up here where the little panda bear is. And we live in South Africa that's all the way down at the bottom. So, you can see it's a big, huge difference distance between the two countries. So, just a little bit about China. All the biggest panda bears, it's this black and white panda bears, live, we get them in China. And then we also get the Chinese wall. So that's the only wall that you can see from the moon. If you look down to the earth, you can see how they built that um, wall. So that's the biggest wall as well. And then you get your Chinese food. I know there's a lot of you that love China, Chinese food. And then the last thing is karate came from there. So all the boys and girls that love karate, that's where it comes from. I love you guys. Bye-bye. Good morning, boys and girls. This is teacher Natalie from the Dolphin Class 2. So for our art activity today, for Australia, we are going to be making a boomerang. And Australians make boomerangs for their art. So we are going to make a boomerang for ours. So all you need is you need a colouring in paper of a boomerang and you need some paint. So I'm going to be using the Australian flag colours, blue and red. And if you haven't got any paint, you can use food colouring as paint. So we're going to decorate our boomerang by finger painting our boomerang and making lots of patterns on our boomerang. So I'm going to use a paintbrush and I'm going to put some paint onto my finger and I'm going to draw some patterns onto my boomerang with my finger. So I'm going to draw a few little lines, you can draw zigzags, you can draw curvy lines, you can draw little dots and you can use lots of different colours of paint. You don't have to use only blue, you can use green, you can use yellow, you can use pink, you can use purple, you can use a whole lot of different colours. To make your boomerang nice and colourful. So I'm just drawing lines on mine. And then I'm going to take my red paint or my pink and then I'm going to draw like little dots mm. and you can do any pattern that you want to do Don't have to do the same pattern as teacher. You're doing your own pattern. And there we go. Our boomerang is now finished. So I hope you all had lots of fun doing this art activity with teacher Natalie today. And I hope you're all having loads of fun watching all of our YouTube videos and doing all of our really fun, cool, exciting activities at home. And don't forget that I miss you lots and I can't wait to see you very soon. Love from teacher Natalie. Bye. Mwah. Good morning, boys and girls. This is teacher Natalie from the Dolphin Class 2. So for today, our poem is going to be about two snails. And I'm going to teach you how it goes. 
So here are our two snails and the poem goes like this. One snail, two snails had a little talk. One snail, two snails had a little walk. They came to a garden where they climbed up a tree where they met with some other snails and had some tea. So that is our poem for today. And I'm going to teach you one last time and you're going to say it with teacher Natalie. It's so easy. Are you all ready to say the poem with teacher Natalie? Let's start. One snail. Two snails had a little talk. One snail, two snails had a little walk. They came to a garden where they climbed up a tree, where they met some other snails and had some tea. Well done, boys and girls. I hope you all had lots of fun learning about the snail poem with teacher Natalie today. And I hope you're all having lots of fun watching all of our YouTube videos and doing all of our fun, exciting activities at home. And don't forget that I miss you lots. And I can't wait to see you very soon. Love from teacher Natalie.